Behind every mural, there is a story to tell. In the case of one located downtown, there are nearly three dozen tales to share, stories of African-American men and their lives in San Antonio. Katrina Weber tells us the story of the inspiration for that work of art in this week's edition of If These Walls Could Talk. If a person's eyes are the windows to the soul, these faces offer a prime view of 33 different souls, weary of a lifetime of struggle. When I was painting these faces, I could feel their pain. These men worry about themselves. They worry about their teenage boys. Are they gonna be coming home? That realization magnified by the police murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis inspired renowned artist Lionel Sosa to focus on black men in San Antonio. I assumed that things weren't as tough in San Antonio as they would be other places, but that was an assumption. The mural called Living in My Skin features men and soon to be men from 10 to 90 years old, politicians, professionals, a former prisoner, all sharing one thing, being treated badly because of their skin color. That's a reality. You know, that's the reality of black people. Even as a business owner and school teacher, Harold Williams says he has seen the ugly side of society. He and the others spared their smiles for the pictures, but bared their souls on camera. It was a therapy session, you know, it helped me to, to vet in a sense. This artwork at 4th and Auditorium Circle may be the only major piece about black people that's not on the east side of town. One of the things that's different about this mural is that it's interactive. You can use your phone to scan the QR codes next to each person's name and watch a video telling their story. My attitude toward uh, the lives of black men is, it's changed my life completely. Sosa hopes his work also will be an eye opener and mind changer for many people. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.